Daphne Fong. I'm the executive director and founder of California Against Slavery. California voters just sent a loud and clear message to human traffickers that we are ready to defend and to uphold the rights and dignity of our community's most vulnerable members. Thank you for all your hard work and contributions, which led to the historic victory of Prop 35. 81% is a huge victory. But some, of, uh, some people ask, why not 99%? Well, human trafficking is a huge industry with a lot of people involved. I saw a Swedish poster that said that one out of eight men is a, is a sex buyer. How would these girls be able to bring in $500 a night as their quota unless there were a huge uh, group of buyers, exploiters, or John, you may. And also there is a small group of people who bought into the misreading of Prop 35 and the sensational scenarios like my 10 year old son or my grandmother will become a human trafficker because me as an adult want to sell my body. Let me assure you right now that that's not true. But I also want to insert at this point that these sex workers who are vehemently promoting prostitution may be uh, squeaky wheels, but they do not represent the majority of women who are trapped in it. Please go and read the studies on prostitutionresearch.com. And within the anti-trafficking community, there has been some opposition expressed. Most were due to differences in perspectives. Others are simply not true. I've learned through this campaign that the, the importance of the survivors' voices in this movement. It's possible to lose focus on the big picture and turn this heinous crime into a philosophical or ideological topic. But the survivors have to deal with the aftermath of their abuse on a daily basis. They can help this movement focus on the core issue that has compelled you and me to join it. They tell the true human stories behind human trafficking. And as a movement, every forum, every project, every training must have the survivor's voice in its epicenter. And I urge the community to take a broader perspective of what it means to be victim-centered. I like to use the analogy of a person on a boat who is throwing people off the boat. We need someone in the water who can rescue these people and we then help them restore their lives. But we also need someone on the boat to stop this person from throwing the people off the boat. Preventing the next person from becoming a victim is just as victim-centered as providing services for survivors to restore their lives. Now we have a clear mandate. We have a clear support from voters. We have tangible numbers behind us in this movement to press forward. And Prop 35 is a huge step forward and a real change. And every major change in history has been politicized because every uh, movement faces resistance. But as a community, we need to make real change. We need to take those big steps forward. And yes, they are riskier. Yes, they're difficult than those tiny little steps. But real lives are at stake. And we, we must, as a community, focus on saving lives and preventing this crime. If people want to politicize it, let them be. But we as a community, we need to press forward, remain focused, and push the envelope. As Martin Luther King Jr. said, the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in, in moments of convenience and comforts, but, in, but where he stands in times of challenge and controversy. Let us not be, be, let us not let those challenges and controversies stop us or scare us from taking those bold steps forward. Many have asked what California Against Slavery's next step is. And um, at this point, I can, I can 
assure you that whatever the next project that we're engaged in is, it's going to be where I believe we can, we can make the most impact and add the most value to this movement. My vision for California Gate Against Slavery is not for it to be a permanent organization. We will exist as long as we can add value and to make significant change in this movement. A human trafficking initiative right now holds the record as the most popular initiative in the history of California. This is a huge win for our movement, and we need to ride on that mandate from the citizens of California. The 19th century abolition movement had Abraham Lincoln. The civil rights movement had MLK Jr. And overseas, the Indian independence movement had Gandhi. These men sacrificed their lives. If we are to win this fight against human trafficking, against modern day slavery, we have to be willing to make those personal sacrifices and to take courageous, bold steps for change. History will judge us justly and we are on the right side of history. Thank you for all, the, for, for all that you have done. And let's, let's work together, let's come together to do more. This is the time, this is our moment.